<laughs> there are some things we just can't talk about with the young ones here. Come to think of it, I suppose this is the first time we'll have spoken one-on-one -on -one like this. Yes, that's true. So, am I speaking to the Governor General of Crossbell? Or, am I speaking to the leader of the Ironbloods? <laughs> ah, the Ironbloods. Gifted children found and taken in by His Excellency Lord Osborne. Mostly the latter, to answer your question. But you forget, I'm also a former member of the Thor's Board of Directors. At the same time, my younger brother is one of your classmates. I'm certain there is an abundance of topics we could discuss. If you need to leave a message for Eusis, I'll make sure he gets it. We'll be meeting up before too long. Ah, so you've already managed to meet with some of your other classmates. Not all of them, though, hmm. I suppose it must be difficult getting hold of Gaius and Instructor Valestine. <sighs> How much does he know? <laughs> I jest. Our time is short and better spent on topics besides my brother. What I wish to discuss is your rather fascinating lineage. <gasps> okay, we've talked long enough. Let's go. I won't let anyone interfere. This is going to be our final battle. The group's primary member, in fact. Though that secret was, until very recently, kept between myself and His Excellency the Chancellor. Relentlessly, without looking back. <laughs> as long as you do, I'm sure. I'm taking over that phantasmal blaze plan of yours. And my first order of business will be sorting out the mess you left in Crossbell. Why... Why are you still alive? Crow shot you! You're supposed to be dead! I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Please, take good care of Crow for me. But in the end, he couldn't avenge his grandfather. He did get revenge on you! Was everything he did... Was his whole life for nothing? Just as you have your reasons that guide your actions, so too does His Excellency. And I believe you factor into those reasons more than you might think. Reen. I pray you grow up strong and healthy. Oh, Adios, if you're listening, hear me now. Please allow this child. I'm glad to finally see you again, my son. You've grown into a fine young man. Indeed, the Empire will soon know of the Ashen Chevalier. The hero whose brave deeds allowed us to reclaim the capital. Then, please tell me. As much as I wanted to ask while all that was happening a year and a half ago, I couldn't. What is the Black Workshop? And how were they able to create Milliam and Altina? What is the Phantasmal Blaze Plan that Chancellor Osborne took from the Society? And how did you become leader of the Ironbloods? My lord, it's nearly time. <laughs> <laughs> I shall be there shortly. I can answer some of your questions. Only His Excellency knows the truth about the Black Workshop. He entrusted the Black Rabbit to me personally. Second, I'm sure Claire, Lecter, and Milliam don't know this, but... It seems we're being tested. 
They want to see whether any of us, yourself included, can reach the core. The core? In regards to me being the leader of the Ironbloods, 12 years ago, I manipulated my father into sending a Jaeger Corps called Arngarm to attack His Excellency. Arngarm? That's the Corps V from the Imperial Liberation Front was the leader of. He said they were hired by some high-up noble to attack the Chancellor, but were completely wiped out. I wanted to test him. I wished to see just how capable this commoner chancellor was, and if he could figure out who did it. Then one day, when I was practicing falconry with your adoptive father, Baron Schwarzer, who should he introduce me to but His Excellency? He had known it was me the whole time. Are you so bored you feel the need to play with fire? Do you tire of your empty days spent tied down by your family and title? Yes, I apologize for the other day. But it seems you're aware it was me who sent you that little greeting. The four great houses have no future. From here on, I shall consider you my true father and one day surpass you. Ha <laughs> ha! Iron bloods, is it? They say children should surpass their fathers. I eagerly look forward to that day. And so, that is how I became the first Iron Blood. <laughs>